Welcome to Gene Cannabis TV. We have a really special show tonight. We've got some great guests on. Uh, first of all, am I meeting right? Uh, Sharon uh, Cohen. Cohen. See, I'm used to another name, so I'm <laughs> sorry. Right. Sharon Cohen. And uh, known Sharon for many, many years. Uh, Sharon was one of the original people that I got together with uh, almost 20 years ago to, to start working on legalization. And uh, met a lot of people along the way. And then uh, we, then uh, Uriah, and appreciate both of you coming in. And we got uh, some incredible talk about hemp. And we're not, this isn't just talking about, <laughs> talking about what it can do. We're talking about what it is doing. And Sharon is actually producing food products, and that's what we're here, to, you know, one of the main things we're going to hear to talk about, as well as an eye out and have some other stuff too. So uh, <laughs> so tell us about your business, and where did it evolve, and Well, the going? business has evolved from originally being at the Saturday market as a food booth, and now it is known as Warm Heart Hemp Foods, and for the last couple of years, it's been at the Incubator Sprout Kitchen, um, getting ready to go into the market. This is what our product looks like here. Um, it's a pre-made patty that's not frozen and pre-cooked. Um, you take it home and cook it, um, and we've gotten uh, tremendous feedback about not only how delicious it is, but people have used it for a multitude of products, uh, lasagna, chili, stuffed bell peppers, so it's very mm -hmm. versatile. Um, we've been marketing it, um, like I said, for uh, about a year and a half, two years at the Sprout Incubator Kitchen and the Springfield uh, Sprout Farmer's Market, which is on Fridays. Wow from three to seven. And, and the thing that I'm always amazed about is, as I understand it, it's the highest omega-3s of any plant, or how does is. that go exactly? It, it is the highest of the omega-3s yeah. of any plant, and it's a very, almost like a pre-digested protein. It's very mm -hmm. digestible, it's assimilated very quickly, and if you have a poor digestive system, or if you're compromised at all because of AIDS or cancer, or any of those types of illnesses that compromise your digestive system, this protein is easily assimilated and used by your body, whereas most proteins are in fact very hard to digest and oftentimes just pass through, not being used properly at all, or they take so much energy out of your body in order to to digest them and use them that they actually kind of work against uh, the person that's already mm -hmm. compromised. Um, and it, now you look like hemp, I call hemp hearts. Is that right? Yep, or is yep, that, they're also is that known a brand as, name? Or uh -huh. that? Well, that's oh, somewhat hearts. a brand name. There's a hemp okay. hearts there and it's known as hold hemp seed in okay. over here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's exactly what it looks like. And it's very versatile as far mm -hmm. as you can sprinkle mm -hmm. it on your yogurt, you can put it on your salad, your rice. You can, it's best, of course, eaten in its raw form. So a lot of times, instead of cooking it into the meal, we'll sprinkle it on towards the end. Mm -hmm. um, we also make milk out of it and we sell hemp shakes. Those are extremely nutritious and again, very easily digested and used by the body. Um, for people that are certainly compromised. In a hemp patty, there's approximately nine grams of protein. Now we do have other grains, quinoa, and other things in there to contribute to that, but a large portion of that is coming from the hemp. Mm -hmm. um, we also make a hemp sauce, which we don't have on display here today, which is very good for dipping, and a lot of people use the hemp sauce on meat products, mm -hmm. on meat burgers, et cetera, so it's very versatile that way. <laughs> Years ago, we uh, had a lady come to the Hemp Fest, and uh, she just came with a, she wasn't a vendor, she just wanted to promote hemp. Uh, uh, hemp hearts and she came to the table one day she had a little had a salad and she would give everybody a little helping of salad and then put the hemp hearts on to show how you could use it with your salad mm -hmm. another next day she had a little dessert she gave everybody a little dessert with the hemp hearts on it to show how you could eat with uh, you know it's, it's amazing amazing amazing, amazing. It's very versatile and uh, you know a couple tablespoons a day is a, a huge amount of uh, nutrients and it's very high in magnesium it's also high in iron magnesium is extremely difficult to get because the soil is extremely depleted from magnesium so most of our foods have little to no magnesium in them and it is kind of like an element it's like the energy spark of life mm -hmm, so it's mm -hmm. actually a very important element mm -hmm. so um, it's very high in that which is very good again very assimilated very easily um, currently the product is being um, sold um, at the Lane County Courthouse in the Wholesome Cafe. Mm. They mm -hmm. sell the hemp burger there and they've had tremendously good feedback on it there from people all over the country saying it's the best that they've ever had. Mm -hmm. um, it also wow. was available, it just closed for the season, but it was available at the Babe Ruth um, concession stand over at Meadowview Park. Um, so this is for wow. you and I, mm -hmm. you know, it's a complete turnaround because mm -hmm. years ago when I was selling at Saturday Market, say across the street from the courthouse, right. there was a point where, you know, we almost could have been arrested for selling this food and now it's <laughs> sold in the courthouse. Yeah, yeah. So it's tamed. <laughs> and we've also <laughs> sold it at River Bend Hospital. We ran an account there where we made to-go food um, and we sold it there for quite a few months and exposed um, quite a few people there. 
to the benefits of it and it was uh, very loved by the surgical techs because it's a very sustaining food. It gives you a lot of energy, lasts a long time. So if you have to go into a surgery or something where you're going to be working and you need your energy and you need to be sharp, um, whereas if you go and you eat yourself a big old pot roast, you're not only going to be sluggish and not sharp, but it's going to take so many hours to digest that protein. So this has been, um, it was really liked up there because of that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're getting ready to go into the stores. We're working on changing our packaging a little bit and we're looking for small loans and investors and people that are interested in this product. We'd like to keep it in Eugene. We'd like to manufacture mm -hmm. it in Eugene as a fresh artisan product. We're not looking to sell or get a large distributor that wants to take it all over the country. We really just want to keep this a home food mm -hmm. um, and kind of work from that base. Wow, this is really exciting. <laughs> this is so great. And Naraya, some of you, what's your experiences? Uh, well, uh, first of all, I've eaten a lot of hemp seed mm -hmm. in my life here. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. Uh, it's mm -hmm. really makes my body feel good and mm -hmm. healthy. Uh, but when I tasted Sharon's hemp burger, I would t over the top go, like, I can't believe this is the most delicious hemp burger I've ever had. <laughs> so like, uh, I got uh, totally uh, into it and I'm uh, hoping that in some kind of way, uh, um, we can help out Sharon here, get definitely. some more oh, well, going yeah, and yeah, people definitely. understand it. Um, one of the things uh, I know about hemp seed for sure is that they call it an Ediston protein, which means that it has the best uh, percentages of the uh, uh, antioxidants. And basically, that's what gives it its uh, ability to say that you, it is the best protein on Earth. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, can actually help us uh, get rid of me eat, meat eating. You know, meat eating is kind of uh, 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 environmentally not very friendly. So like, one of the other things is the, the torture uh, and pain that a lot of those animals have to go through. Uh, uh, and this protein here has none of those problems that meat has mm -hmm. as far as that mm -hmm. goes. In fact, this will lower your cholesterol, even it out where it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. instead of making you fatter, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and having problems with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really big on hemp seed, hemp seed oil. Uh, there's this uh, powder that they're making now too, mm -hmm. uh, that's hemp protein oh, yeah. from Manitoba Harvest. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do it on everything I can, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. salads, soups, yogurt, uh, other things, it just it fits with almost everything you can cook mm -hmm. and uh, put together for a food. So I, uh, I think uh, there's no excuse for not eating it mm -hmm. on a regular basis. I'm putting it on a like a garnish way, mm -hmm. but that's mm -hmm. protein, mm -hmm. like you yeah, say, two right. tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is, is, uh, yeah and <coughs> Sharon had her, her truck there uh, at the Hemp Fest uh, and uh, had, was serving hemp burgers, and they were mm -hmm. well received, I think you said. Hemp burgers, when we had the sauce, and we had the hemp milkshakes. And the hemp yeah. yes, and the hemp oh. milkshakes. Oh, yes, I had one or two of those myself. <laughs> yeah, those were really re rejuvenating, and I needed it bad. So That, yeah. that hemp sauce is the best sauce I've ever tasted for uh, food, mm -hmm. too. It's yeah, it's amazing. delicious for dipping in, in vegetables, and it's very mm -hmm. versatile too. And it is a, a, a mm -hmm. raw, you know, sauce, so it's high in nutrition again. So mm -hmm. it's very we we consider our foods nutrient nutrient yeah. rich, and nutrient and, dense. So now, now, and who's selling your product now? We uh, we're personally actually oh the, the, the well uh, right now I'm, it's available at the Sprout Market on Fridays from three oh, to yeah. seven. Okay. Um, but there's a bakery at the Sprout Market, which is on, uh, I think it's on A Street in Springfield. It's across from the Justice Center in an old church. It's Sprout Incubator mm -hmm. Kitchen, mm -hmm. and they have a Sprout Friday Market, a farmer's market. It's a very nice market. Mm -hmm. it's, very, uh, it's indoors, so it's nice when it's too hot. And <clears throat> they, uh, they have a bakery in there called 100 Mile Bakery, and that is uh, open all week long. And they have a deli case, and the hamburger is available there in the deli case during the week. Wow. So um, cool. you can pick it up there right now. And hopefully within uh -huh. the next few months, you will start to see it on the local shelves, yep. Kiva, Capella, yep. and some of the smaller stores are ready to pick us up. We're just on the edge of changing our, our, our container and our labels so we're a little bit more market ready and market friendly. 
Um, and Sharon's one of, also looking for some help, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> find that, well, help in general, but especially to get this thing rolling. So if you've got mm -hmm. some money like to invest, this is an exciting idea here. You might uh, think about it and get a hold of her. You can get a hold of her through our program. Definitely. So. This right. is a, a great thing to do, uh, help a startup do. Oh, yeah. Because yep. this is the Excellent. best nutrition that our community can have as far as protein goes. Uh, and ha if you add this to the raw juice, yes. you have perfect food, period. Yep. It mm -hmm. covers everything, all yep. the vitamins and, mm -hmm. and the antioxidants in it and uh, the various lignans and stuff like mm -hmm. that to make it really work with the entourage effect. I mean, actually, the endocannabinoid system doesn't work well unless you put cannabis in it and <laughs> the raw juice is the best way to get all the cannabinoids mm -hmm. in your system mm -hmm, mm -hmm. along with a little extra help with hemp seed oil you've it's got oil. the perfect food mm -hmm. add the two together mm -hmm. and and you could live on just that mm -hmm. yeah i just noticed you got a recipe right here strawberry banana vanilla smoothie mm -hmm. <laughs> organic strawberries bananas a cup of your favorite organic vanilla non-dairy beverage serving of manitoba harvest organic valley hemp protein powder uh, one tablespoon of organic vanilla extract and a half cup of ice and there you go and you got a, blend, a, a healthy, a healthy yeah. uh, a smoothie and of course you can get creative and go from there mm -hmm. and in fact that's what's really neat and we're not even talking about hemp parts at this point we're just talking we're talking about the hemp protein uh, here so mm -hmm. there's all kinds of ways to uh, to to use it yeah you could take Powerful it in stuff. the uh, oil itself to the mm -hmm. seed oil oh, yeah. uh, okay. just a tablespoon or two a day or keep the cholesterol away uh -huh. mm -hmm. period mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course the burger is cholesterol free it's completely mm -hmm. cholesterol free high mm -hmm. in protein high in iron high in potassium high in magnesium it's also been served on meatless Mondays at the Elder Hostel um, outside of Thurston there. Um, they have a really nice Elder Hostel up there and they have a huge garden and mm -hmm. they work really hard to make sure the seniors that they're in charge of get really good healthy foods. And so they've mm -hmm. used the, help, the hemp burger on meatless Mondays there. Um, and they've in, made it in several different fashions. So, well, you're you're giving a, a prime example of why we need to grow hemp seeds here in Oregon now. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. so yeah. we yeah. could have you and, and other people that need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With yeah. It exactly. The There's certainly a lot There's, of uh, mm -hmm. room for marketing hemp <clears throat> as well as the medical marijuana industry. And that's a whole other thing. It would be nice to see possibly some dispensaries pick up this food. Of course, we could make the food medicated, but right now we prefer to keep it as a family-friendly food. We really want to encourage that families feed their children correctly, and we do give 5% of our profits to local families whose children are fighting awesome. cancer for choosing what alternatives they may choose, whether it be cannabis, massage, or whatever they might need mm -hmm. to help heal their child um, mm -hmm. during this type of a crisis. So we certainly, um, you know, from, a, from an, a deep, deep wanting to uh, teach families that diet does matter mm -hmm. and that this is a powerful food and a good alternative to a lot of toxic things that are out there. We also intend to hopefully keep the product local, like I said, we do make it weekly. We totally believe that most of the foods on the market that are available today that are for sale are not very nutrient rich because they are old and they are not really what you would normally cook at home, put in your refrigerator and bring out six, eight, ten weeks later and eat. Right. That's what we've become used to. So this product is kind of show people. We've got in this, in this uh, half and we're going to have another half just a minute. Be right back. Don't go away. And now a message from the American Marijuana Growers Association. I'm a farmer, and I work hard every day to grow high-quality marijuana, the biggest cash crop in these United States. I'd like to thank you for your support of U.S. marijuana policy. Because marijuana is illegal, I don't have to pay taxes. Even better, prohibition leads to artificially inflated prices, which means a better quality of life for me and my family, as long as I don't get caught. Just as importantly, your tax dollars support thousands of U.S. agents who work tirelessly to keep low-grade foreign marijuana out of our country. So thank you, America. And remember, whether you're nauseated from chemotherapy or just in the mood for a nice, cool buzz, choose the best pot in the world, American Homegrown.
Welcome back to the second half of the 584th episode of Gene Cannabis TV. We have a special guest with us tonight. We have uh, Sharon Cohen and uh, Naraya. And uh, we're talking about hemp and hemp food, and especially the hemp burger, who Sharon is uh, becoming famous for, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> especially uh, in, in, in our circles. But anyway, I wanted to talk about an exciting item that Sharon brought in that I wasn't aware of at all. And this is what's fascinating about this whole new legalization and products that are coming out. It's just stuff coming out all the time, and this is a new one to me. Uh, this is called the Synergy Skin Wor Ro Works. 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 Okay. W-O-R-X. W-O-R-X. Works, yeah. <laughs> and this is a THC patch. So tell us. Tell us what well, these are available at the local dispensaries. And this is a patch, just like any sort of patch that you would get with any other sort of medication. They also make them in CBD. Um, and they last 24 hours. And um, we have several patients that have used them and said that they really think they're wonderful. Um, they can be a little spendy, about $20, $25 here in Eugene, about $16 in Portland. Um, mm -hmm. So things mm -hmm. tend to be a little uh, cheaper in Portland. There's more competition, of course. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But these um, are really, I think, cutting edge and um, just taking it beyond the, those little vapor pipes and everything else. You know, there's no ingestion at all. Can, can um, I ask you, it, it could, could you, if you didn't want to, Feel it for 24 hours mm -hmm. if you could just put it back and do it again? Uh, well, I'm not sure. Now, um, you probably would have to get more information from the company. You know, like with tobacco patches, you can actually cut them into different sizes. Uh -huh. So it's possible you could cut this, but I, I don't know because I'm, I don't, I'm not the proprietor of this. Mm -hmm. I just brought this in today because we happen to have them, and I mm -hmm. think that people should be aware that they're available mm -hmm. um, at several dispensaries here in Eugene, and you can Google them. Um, they don't really have a website, but if you Google it, it will come up some information from dispensaries that are selling them, that are advertising them, mm -hmm. that have info on them. The THC one, of course, um, well, it says down at the bottom that it's uh, pain relief, PTSD, nausea and vomiting, appetite stimulation, asthma, glaucoma, and insomnia. Mm -hmm. And then the CBD patches. Some There is some overlap in those areas, of course, so mm -hmm. um, that can cause a lot of confusion for people. Mm -hmm. um, in particular, this patient was going to use it for appetite stimulation, and that is heavily just a THC component that contributes to that. But things that help your digestion and things that help cachexia and anorexia and things like that are in the CBD and the CBN area. So, you know, you could kind of mix and match your patches mm -hmm. a little bit. I think it would be nice if um, you could cut them in half or into pieces and put part of a CBD and part of a THC, yeah. maybe not even at the same time, but maybe a few hours apart, mm -hmm. things like that. And I, I think there's probably room for some experimentation in that area on these and that these, um, uh, one particular patient is in her 90s and has really rebounded just using these, mm -hmm. um, being able to eat and get up mm -hmm. and be pain-free and enjoy life. So mm. really wow. took uh, you know, a 90-year-old patient from being really on her deathbed just because she was miserable mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. to being up and active again. Um, so Yeah, and uh, it says right here that it's got uh, 61 milligrams of THC and it's got two milligrams of CBD. CBD. And like Sharon said, the other ones are, are CBD dominant, mm. and uh, so you, oh, you can go that route. Uh, it says includes uh, one transdermal patch, two 70% isoprol propyl prep pads, and this is it's a single time use product, accurate and quick dosing, 24 hour time release medication. So that's a, you know, wow. Good. And uh, <laughs> we've heard that it takes about 20 minutes um, before you feel the effects. And uh, several patients said when they took them off, they still had about three or four more hours of relief. So a little bit uh -huh. more than 24 hours. So, you know, I think. <laughs> See, that yeah. amazes me. You know, I started almost 20 years ago to, to legalize pot just so that people could use it recreationally in <laughs> peace, you know. And then this medical thing comes on and, uh, uh, of course, industrial, and it's just continually amazing. It's just, uh, yeah. it's, it's just mind-boggling. And uh, and then now the products that they're coming out on, because uh, I was already very aware of topical uh, application mm -hmm. uh, of uh, uh, cannabis, and it's amazing uh, to, to think about it. It's topical. You don't even have to eat it. It's absorbed in your body. I mean, holy yeah. Christ, yeah, that's I, amazing. Yeah, I do that Dank, myself. Uh, I take uh, high percentage CBD seeds that I grow, and um, take the plants and, and put it into a uh, high uh, virgin oil uh, coconut and organic coconut. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
then I can actually put it on my skin and within five minutes I'm feeling relief and pain and I can put it uh, sublingually under my tongue and get even more effect in the body, uh, mm -hmm. of the body mm -hmm. too. Um, so yeah, I, I'm familiar with that and I sure would like to try some of those with the CBD mm -hmm. end of that too. Mm -hmm. You reminds me of the old, <coughs> the old uh, uh, smoking patch, you'd say, well, yeah. you roll them up and smoke them. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> well, of course, these would have been a godsend mm -hmm. when my son was oh, uh, yeah. originally sick as a, as a child. He was actually the youngest child in Oregon um, and the first child to be on the medical marijuana program. He actually oh, had the right. prescription written mm -hmm. by a physician six months before the program opened because his disease was so rare, there wasn't any way to control the nausea and vomiting. Um, and there wasn't any way to ingest anything. And of course, we used a vaporizer because there wasn't any other way at the time. But even if there had been edibles, there was no way because his body, his stomach was completely paralyzed. There was no way to get anything into the stomach at all. So it had to be IV or a patch like this, or in the case where we were using the vaporization mm -hmm. was the only way to get the cannabis in. And of course, um, it essentially saved his life and was able to move him to a place now where he can control his disease, not only using cannabis, but other employ mm -hmm. other things like nutrition and diet, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that he knows what disease he has mm -hmm. <laughs> and things like that. So how's he so doing? Is he, uh, he's actually doing pretty well. He can occasionally have a spell. And um, we originally, we recently purchased some of these patches, but he hasn't used them yet because he hasn't had a spell where he's had any pain mm -hmm. or nausea or vomiting. Mm -hmm. um, so I am kind of anxious to see how they work for him. Yeah. Um, because um, unfortunately the disease involves the liver and sometimes when you put something like this on and then if you start to get too much and your liver says, no, I don't like that, you need to take this off right away, you can take it off. But of course the effects will be remain for X amount of hours. Mm -hmm. And in that mm -hmm. amount of time, it's possible with the type of disease that he has that you could get seriously ill. So it's one of those things we're gonna mess around with a little bit and see. But mm -hmm. with the smoking, the vaporizing of the cannabis, he's done very well. Um, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, most people, when they're diagnosed as young as he was with this porphyria, the disease that he has, um, they oftentimes don't get into adulthood, or if they do, they're paralyzed and they're completely tube dependent for feeding. Mm -hmm. So just to see him up and moving around and he eats normal, you know, foods and um, acts and feels normal most of the time, you know, so yeah. we're, we're yeah. happy with what yeah, results incredible. we've had. Right. Um, yeah. so. So it's not anecdotal to you, you lived it. <laughs> we lived it, and I mean, this was what I would have lived for. I would have lived for this at that time, all yeah. those endless years where I stayed up mm. day in and day out, and the only thing I had was vapor and blowing vapor over him, and knowing that that was, you know, was working and was helping, but just, you know, was so primitive. Mm -hmm. Well, and then, that's, that's a big part of uh, how it metabolizes differently when you smoke it, it doesn't mm -hmm. go to all the bar body, like it does when you put it in your stomach mm -hmm. and uh, gets more places in the body that way. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a little more diversified as it's going in and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, because my son has a rare disease that did require being very careful what you ingest, um, I'm always cautious mm -hmm. when I bring things out like this. I always tell people to obviously approach things like this cautiously and be careful, but be aware that it wouldn't matter whether you were using this or anything else, anything that you ingest when your body is compromised can have an adverse reaction mm -hmm. if you overdo it. So if you put this skin wrap on mm. and you or skin works on and you and you don't care for it, or you feel like you've had enough, you take it off, you're not nothing serious is gonna happen mm -hmm. to you. You're right. gonna it will slowly dissipate and you'll be fine. So it's kind of uh, time releasing. It's not like you get the whole dose right away. Correct. It's so time like releasing. You don't have to worry about getting too anxiety or yep. paranoid from too much And THC. all of these types of things, 99.9% .9 of the time, this is going to be the easiest, most assimilated mm -hmm. way for the body to take something in mm -hmm. in the least toxic way. Mm -hmm. So in the case of like my son's illness, this should work and be, you know, perfect for that. Right. Um, because you don't have to go through <coughs> the digestive system at all. Um, says, do not drive or operate heavy equipment <laughs> after applying the patch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Follow well, those directions. Wow, have interesting. Those yeah. you know, <laughs> and, um, yeah, or do we need two minutes of it, though? I mean, you know, warnings on this stuff. Now, I mean, yeah. you know, most of the commercials they have these right. Uh, right, drugs yeah. or medicines. Right. Side available. effects it's may include having to stay home. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. And also, I noticed uh, your this uh, warm heart harp. 
the, our, our hemp sauce. Hemp sauce. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, well, maybe maybe bring, talk speak about that a little bit. Well, you mentioned it in passing, yep. but a little more detail. Uh, the hemp sauce is um, kind of been um, kind of grew alongside the hemp burger, mm-hmm. um, and it is a it's a hemp seed base. It's a raw sauce made in a Vitamix, and it also has some almonds in it. So for mm-hmm. people that are nut free, mm-hmm. it's not quite there, but um, it's just the perfect combination. I don't know I what it is. So I don't too. know. The flavors just match perfectly. And the hemp mm-hmm. sauce itself is very, like I said, it's nutrient dense. So, mm-hmm. you know, you're not putting on ketchup and mayonnaise, which is just kind of to make it taste yummy. And really nothing in there for you. Mm-hmm. This sauce is... Eat you know, your way to health. That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been, it was very popular. Um, at River Bend Hospital, we sold a number of... Um, buffalo and different meat dishes and we sold quinoa and we sold hemp burger and we sold veggies dipping veggies and we sold a lot of sauce over there and different meals and by far you know that's really what made the whole line of foods was the sauce the hamburger mm-hmm. was good but the sauce was with everything and, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and people really enjoyed it and oh, yeah. like it's, yeah. uh, got something from it wow so. that's yeah that's incredible so, so uh, yeah the warm heart hemp sauce along with the hemp burgers and you can have it at home you can and have so it at home we're gonna wrap this up real quick i really appreciate you coming in i got a real quick announcement uh, uh next august 25th is the uh, uh the analytical the og analytical uh series on uh, uh cannabis science pub and we're gonna on the 25th they're gonna be talking about cannabis extraction so that's uh, that's at the world pies you know that's the world pies now and it's oh, not, okay. that's it's a not new cosmic. name it's world okay. pies now world not cosmic pies. anymore I see. Okay. <laughs> but anyway uh and i really appreciate sharon coming in and sharon's a friend been friend for many years it's so good to see you again right, i don't well, see enough you. of this so i know to see you again. <laughs> nice. and Naraya, i appreciate you coming in and, and uh, helping Anytime. us out and tell us uh, and then Naraya yeah. will be back well of course they both will tell us more later so Right. Uh, in the meantime, seek it out, and we've got to get going. But next year, next week, we'll be here. So hope you are. We'll see you then. Thanks. I mean, herbs are good for everything. <laughs>